Question number 12. Solve the following system of equations by using the inverse matrix. So we have three linear equations with three unknowns, which is x1, x2, and x3. But in the beginning, we will transform these three linear equations into the form of ax equals b. So we will take out all the coefficients of x1, x2, and x3. So a is a metric of 3, 1, 2. How did I get 3, 1, and 2? Is by referring to the coefficient of x1, x2, and x3. For the second row, we have 3, 2, and 2. And the last row, 1, 0, and 1. And how did I get 0? Because we have missing here the x2. Since no x2, the coefficient is 0. And we have the second metric which is x1, x2, x3. If your unknown is x, y, z, therefore this metric become x, y, and z. And it is equal to 11, 10, 5. In the earlier session, I have explained to you that uh, we will use the formula of x equals a inverse times b. We have metric of b. So now we need to find the metric of a inverse. So by using the adjoint metric, I will find the a inverse. First of all, I will find the determinant of A. So the determinant of A is equal to where I will select or I will expand the first row where the first row is 3 times 2, 2, 0, 1 minus by 1 3, 2, 1, 1 plus 2 times 3, 2, 1, 0. I think that I have explained how the way we find the A, the determinant of A. And now it is equals to 3 times 2 minus 1 plus 2 times negative 2 and you will get 1 as the determinant of A. Okay, let's proceed to the adjoint A. The adjoint of A is equals to the cofactor transpose. So now I will find the cofactor transpose. So cofactor so I need to write this a uh, blank pass of uh, modulus. How many? So we have nine pairs. And please do not forget to put the sign of negative. And the bracket. And of course the transpose. And now I will fill in the blank of modulus just now. So for the first one, I have 2, 2, 0, 1. This one is 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, 
one zero one two zero one three two one one three one one zero next one two 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 it's three two three two and three one three two okay if i solve this one then i will get equals two negative one negative two negative one 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 negative two zero three but this uh, has not transposed yet so i will transpose this to get two negative one negative two and it's negative one one zero negative two one three so this is the adjoint of a and finally since we have found just now the adjoint of a so now we'll proceed to the process of finding the x1 x2 and x3 Oh, but please do not forget we have not found yet the a inverse so a inverse is equal to 1 over 1 times the metric of adjoint just now which is 2 negative 1 negative 2 negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, 3. And of course, this one is equals to 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, and 3. So this is your A inverse. Now I'll substitute into the formula where your X just now x equals a inverse times b so your a inverse 2 negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 1 0 negative 2 1 and 3 multiplied by a metric of b just now so your b is 11 10 and 5 okay then you will get equals to 2 negative 1 and 3 so this is your x1 x2 and x3 but you can't leave the answer as this one you need to make a conclusion therefore your x1 equals to x2 equals negative 1 and x3 equals 3 done so this is the way how we solve the system linear of equations